will always have a supply of water. The problem is that the demand for water is increasing very rapidly and we're not going to have enough to supply the amounts needed by a large part of the planet's population. Also, the problem with water is not that we're going to run out of it, that it's unevenly distributed on the planet. So there's always going to be enough water up in northern Canada and in Alaska and Siberia where there aren't many people, or at least there aren't many people now. Whereas in North Africa and in Central Asia and the Middle East, where population rates are the highest on the planet, water is very scarce. And with global warming, it's likely that water will become even more scarce. So you have a collision between rising population rates and possibly diminishing supplies of water. That's the flashpoint as far as water goes. That's what worries me. Oil is fixable if we move dramatically to adopt alternative energy policies. Uh, but as I say, um, oil is something that this country in particular is very addicted to using and we're very reluctant to make dramatic changes. When I say we, the, you know, the American people in general. Now, there are plenty of people who have made changes. They've, they've traded in their gas guzzlers for hybrids or they, they go to work on bicycles and so on. So people are beginning to make changes, but many more will have to do so. What worries me about the United States is that we have militarized our oil dependency and we're already engaged in the use of force to protect our supply of oil. So far, countries around the world haven't been quite so ready to militarize their water policy. So we have to keep try to keep things that way. You know, there's a, there's a connection between the two and it's an unfortunate one, which is that the greatest supply, potential supply of water on Earth is the oceans. A lot of water out there, but to convert salt water into fresh water is very energy intensive, and energy is the thing we're running out of. So to make a technological shift, we have to find some new sources of energy that are not going to damage the environment, and we haven't solved that one yet. So actually, the priority could be to develop environmentally friendly, you know, non-greenhouse gas emitting sources of energy. If we could do that, uh, then we might be able to solve the water problem as well. And that, so that in my mind is the priority. A lot of people working on this in laboratories around the world, but not, but not on a scale large enough to solve the problem in the next decade or so. In my mind, that's the greatest priority for all of us on the planet today.